Funding for Detroit Performs is provided by the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs, MGM Grand Detroit, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome back to Detroit Performance Presents Sphinx Stars Detroit. I'm your host, DJ Oliver, and now let's take a look back at the performances we saw last week. So what am I supposed to expect from you? See, this music has gone corrupted, and I've had my share. I would say anything that people wanted to hear and coming up on tonight's show. All the memories fade, saying goodbye to all we made. Don't bring her on a cloud to rain on my parade. And now it's time to get back to the action. Jen White, take it away. We have another great lineup of performers on deck for you today competing for the $10,000 grand prize. First up, we have 18-year-old violinist and composer Stuart Carlson from Dexter. I actually started at the uh, piano when I was two years old. And I switched to the violin in fifth grade and I added viola to that when I was a freshman in high school. I had a deep interest in music. Uh, as an infant, actually, and I want to continue that through my career. As a kid, I uh, saw Yo-Yo Ma on a TV show that I liked. So as a kid, that uh, he inspired me, but now I feel that uh, Joshua Bell really inspires me because I like his, uh, his deep emotion uh, when he plays, and I wanted to convey that emotion into my own playing. I actually am diagnosed with a form of autism called Asperger's Syndrome, and I feel that my, my strong interest in music uh, uh, reflects that disability, if you will. It actually helps me in many different ways. Sometimes I listen to music just uh, for stress relief. Sometimes I listen to it just for pleasure. And also, uh, just when I perform it, I just like the fact that hopefully the listeners can uh, feel the emotion of my music and be inspired by it.
performance, Stuart. Of course, I have to come to our resident violinist first. <laughs> DBR, what did you think? Was the yeah. passion there, the emotion? Oh, listen, 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 listen. Um, first of all, there are so many wonderful things happening here, but I want to go to the, the thing that was mystifying. You know, there's a moment in there where you were doing these really slow, beautiful, ethereal glissandos, these slides up. And I looked here and I looked there and we were just you know, time kind of stood still. That is all we need. That's an amen and a prayer to you. <laughs> and I hope that you speak. I hope that you move your feet. Don't be afraid to move your feet. Thank you. Bless you, son. Bless you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carla, I'll come to you next. I, um, I just really want to congratulate you. You moved me. I had tears in my eyes. I, I found those moments with the, the portamenti and the glissandi, you know, it was so moving. And I just really want to congratulate you. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Vince, I think I'm going to give you the last word on this one. Right at the end there, I kind of turned to Carla and said, this guy came to compete. <laughs> and she turned to me and said, he came to win. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, when you find a tone, and it's killing everybody, Know that you're locked into that tone and you found that tone. I was right there all the way down the slide. Well done. Thank you. Great performance, Stuart. Let's give him another round of applause. <laughs> Our next young, talented artist is 14 year old Erica Murad from Oxford. Taking it chapter by chapter, still writing my love story. I started singing three years ago just because a girl, a new girl, came to my church and got me into it. She was really interested in it and it made me want to be interested, so then I just started loving it. <laughs> and then guitar like a year after. Everyone would be like, what inspires you? But I mean, I don't really get inspired, it just like comes to me. But like, for like a songwriter, my like biggest inspiration is Ed Sheeran. He's just, he's amazing. <laughs> just like the words he uses and he plays guitar and it's just, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, usually people think like I've been singing for like more than three years. I write a lot of inspirational songs. I think I was just meant to do it. You know, I just love it. I just want to become as best as I can be.
chapter by chapter, still writing my love story, waiting for my happily ever after. All the memories fade, saying goodbye to all we made, but I moved on, it's a new day. I'll grab my bag. Maybe someday I'll get it right. I'm still writing my love story, taking it chapter by chapter. Still writing my love story, waiting for my happily ever after. I've got no more debts to you off the mind thought you were mine forever but now I realize you're my never I'm still writing my love story taking it chapter by chapter still writing chapter still writing my love story waiting for my happily ever after i'm still writing oh Good job. So, Carla, I'm going to come to you first. What feedback do you have? I loved it. I really appreciated your sense of confidence and your sense of self. And noticing here that you are 14, is that correct? Yes. That is incredible. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. I loved it at the end when you went up. I'd love to maybe see a little more variation. Um, it was a beautiful song, very, very well written. Thank you for the performance. Thank you. Howard, I'll come to you next. What did you think? I loved it. I thought it was a great uh, song, great performance. I remember uh, being at a showcase one time, and after this particular woman sang, a group of us was talking about it, and we each said, she was looking right at me, singing to me. And we said, no, no, it was to me. <laughs> and there was something about that night. It was magical, the way she presented herself and was able to make that eye contact with really every person in the audience. And you came close to that. You, you really did have good eye contact. But I think if you take that even further, you'll find it just pulls the audience in. Okay. Monica, your thoughts? I love the tone of your voice. It's really, really pretty. Thank you. Um, and it worked really well with um, the guitar. I think your writing's really mature, too. Thank you. I do. Great feedback from our judges, Erica Murad. Thanks so much, Erica. <laughs> And now we have Steffi Roche, a 13-year-old from Gross Point Shores who loves to sing. With my high starch collar and my high top shoes and my hair I'll tie up on my head. I was seven years old and I was singing at a local restaurant and famous trumpeter Johnny Trudell heard me sing and he thought I was wonderful and he invited me to sing with his big band. So I performed with him and then Regis Philbin heard me sing, and I was his opening act, and I did his nightclub show, and then I sang with the Michigan Opera Theater, and I'm the Detroit jazz diva. So I've been singing professionally since I was seven. I love performing. It's just what I love to do. I love Judy Garland and Ella Fitzgerald and Barbara Streisand. They have such beautiful voices, and they're so talented. My dream is to be on Broadway, sing at the Met. I hope to go to Juilliard or Tisch. Don't tell me not to live, just sit in powder. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. 
don't bring around a car to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? Oh, march my band out. I'll beat my drum. And if I'm fanned out, your turn at bat, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat, sir. I guess I didn't make it, but whether on the rose of sheer perfection or freckle on the nose. Life's complexion, the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye. I gotta fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once right, sir. Oh, life is you see, you see, and you see. I gotta have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I simply gotta march, my heart's a drummer. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my. So, Carla, we're going to come to you first. What feedback do you have for Steffi? Well, Steffi, wow, that's that's a big song. Great job. Thank with you this. very much. Um, I have a few questions for you. I mean, the diction was wonderful. Thank you. You were very, very specific in all of your acting. I love the way you built the song. Thank you. It's very clear to me that you had a lot of forethought in yes. planning. I think that you are a very intelligent young lady. Thank and, you. and young, I mean, 13 is incredible. Thank you. But I would. I'm a little bit concerned for your vocal health. And I say that only out of sincere best wishes Absolutely, for you. Sure. Because to create a sound that is so mature has to be done in a very, very careful manner at your age so that you can have that long career right. that we all want to see you have. So it's the one area that I would suggest that you address with your teachers sure. because everything else is really stunning. It's Thank you. very, very clear that you are a wonderful artist. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Monica, you're our other vocalist on the judge, judges panel. What did you think? I totally agree with Carla about um, making sure that um, the sound that you're producing is not challenging in any way, especially to vocal, vocal cords that are still growing. I think that you have tons of personality. Thank you. <laughs> Thank which you very much. I'm a fan of personality. <laughs> and I, I think that, um, I think we want to, even when you are, um, even when you're performing, and even when you're performing as a character or as, you know, in, in the context of a musical or, or something like that, we, we want to see you too. So we want to see you embodying what that what that is, and I think that you have you have that you can do that. Thank I want to see more of you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Vince, your feedback, and then I'll come to you, Daniel. I have a 1,731 seat main hall theater, <laughs> and I am convinced that the people in the last row of the balcony <laughs> are going to feel you as much as I'm feeling you right here. Wonderful. And that cannot be bought. You can train and train and train, 
But there's that thing that takes your personality and who you are and that thing that comes across the proscenium arch and you've got it. Thank you. And it's a gift. Thank you. Be careful. Listen to what Carla said. You're 13. It's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Be careful because if you've got that and you can nurture it carefully, then I think you have a big career in front of you. Thank you very much. Daniel, I'll give you the last word. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's everything that's been said I think is true. You know, it's, it's um, I think you have to be the captain and you have to be the one who ultimately makes the decisions, you know, for yourself. And I have no doubt you have very definitive opinions about everything and it's great. And, and that smile you're doing right now, by the way, that is the thing that almost has to happen during the song. Right. You know, there's just a naturalness about that particular smile mm -hmm. that you have to almost videotape yourself and understand what I'm saying. Because when you're singing, it's a different smile, which I also love. And by the way, I love the blocking. I saw the hat. <laughs> I love that, man. <laughs> Thank I, mean, you. The hat, I saw that hat. I love it. Don't lose what you're doing, because what you're doing is really exciting Thank and captivating you. and comforting in a lot of real ways. And, and the, the, there's comfort in your confidence. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Steffi Roche. That does it for the second set of Sphinx Stars Detroit finalists. Let's take a look back at what we just saw. chapter don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade tune in next week for three more performances a rhythm that rhymes Until then, get out there and show the world how Detroit performs, y'all. I am DJ Oliver. Thanks for watching, guys. Funding for Detroit Performs is provided by the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs, MGM Grand Detroit, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.